So you know that I've been going to Kmart because I'm obsessed with this skirt. It's like a safari skirt. There's a cream one and a denim one and I want the denim one. It's A-line, it's fabulous, it's $20. I've been looking for about two weeks and Naughty Kmart have been advertising it on Instagram and you cannot buy it online or I can't. I haven't been able to buy online with Kmart for over nearly 12 years. I don't know if you can buy online but it always says items are out of stock no matter what I put in my basket and then I go to my Kmart and it's there. So anyway. I can't get this done skirt, so I'm officially giving up. I did go though, and I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. This is something I would not normally wear, this shirt hanging down, because I am small here, bigger here, broader in the shoulder, I just feel like a box. But I'm trying to find shapes that help make this kind of look look great on me, because I love this kind of relaxed look. And so what I'm learning is that a flared jean really works with me because it gives me balance at the bottom and it makes a nice silhouette on the thigh. I've also put a short sleeve witchery shirt underneath this so there's not so much bulk on the cardigan. This is a Zara New Season cardigan. And then just a loose jacket over the top and a boot because of course it's still cool enough to wear boots which I'm really excited about. So when I got home I did buy some things and I'll show you that soon. Uh, when I got home I thought well maybe I can just play around with this and see if I can make this shirt thing work in different ways as well. So how about we give that a go. So here is the look without a jacket on. I've pulled the sleeves up a little bit and I put a crossbody bag for a little bit of shape and I think again it's a nice sort of relaxed look and it's really got to be something that I get used to because I'm not used to doing this kind of thing. It looks so great on other women. I wish it looked so great on me. Let's try it open. Okay, so open what I've done is I've got the cardigan and just sort of tucked in this top bit because it's a sort of a round neck. I've tucked in that top bit to give more of a V silhouette and having it open is kind of lovely and relaxed. And even a scarf would look great with this. I was a flight attendant and we used to wear scarves around our necks and gosh, I loved it. It was just so chic. And who does that anymore? It's just not in. So how about we bring it back in? My one and only Hermes. One day something else, hopefully. All right. So of course we could have that sort of cravat look around the neck. And then what I really, really love is this side sort of, you know, <laughs> You're in your tiny little Penelope pit stop pink car and you're scooting around the mountain sides of Monaco <laughs> with your fabulous Jackie O'Sunnies on and you've got this scarf around your neck. And how great is it at hiding a neck that's advancing down the path of life, as Trini Woodall says. I might bring them back. I really love it. It's such a chic and relaxed look, especially with an open neck shirt. All right, let's see what else we can do. Because I can't quite let go of this Zara blazer yet, it's faux leather, stunning. I got it a bit late in the season, so I'm dying to wear it and it's just getting too warm. I thought I'd try it with this, and what I've done is I've left this open so that it looks almost like a scarf and just done a sort of half tuck for a really relaxed look and a fabulous statement bag in black, of course. Uh, and I'd probably put a really creamy boot with this, like a cream or, or even a white boot. Mm -mm. Too chic. This time I've gone for another Zara jacket, there's many here, and this is more relaxed. I've tucked the shirt in actually, just because I think that it's a little bit too floppy. This jacket is not very structured, doesn't have closure, so I've tucked the shirt and made it a little bit more preppy by doing it up right up at the neck and of course it's come undone hasn't it but anyway you get the idea and a crossbody bag in a lovely tan gives it a nice sort of urban look and helps tie things in at the waist next and now for a little navy this beautiful zara blazer double breasted so i've nipped it in at the waist and what i've done with the cardigan is i've actually done it up at the top and allowed it to drape open to show the white of the shirt underneath and then underneath, I have this incredible belt. These are just divine, I love these belts. They are so, so gorgeous and really flattering on so many different body types. Covers a multitude of sins. But how great does that look as an unexpected sort of little, you know, centerpiece here with this lovely cream draping around the white of the shirt and a classic navy blazer over the top. Love it. This time I'm going very preppy with the cardigan over the shoulder 
and another belt, same as the black one, but in a beautiful, very, very pale, almost mushroom colour. Oh, it's so, so gorgeous. And I've just belted the shirt in for a really relaxed, almost cape-like look. This is going on here, you know what I mean? Love these colours together. And of course, a white bag to complement. This will also look fabulous with a long flowy skirt and some white sand shoes. Oh my goodness, yes. Here I've ditched the cardigan. I've relaxed the shirt again with a beautiful on-trend denim check blazer in a lovely light cotton. You can have its sleeves pressed up like this as the weather gets warmer. And I've put a really bright red at the front here in this gorgeous, look at this, please say scarf. Love this. So again, that really urban, relaxed look. And again, this will look fantastic with skinny jeans and a white sneaker. Or, of course, you could completely go without the scarf. Put on a lovely crossbody bag in a beautiful pop of yellow. And this is just from Kmart. It was $9. Again, I think this needs to really get some flat shoes going on and some skinny jeans, but you can get the picture. Really relaxed and cool. And now the final little number is something I had made when we lived in China by my beautiful tailor, Xiaofei. And I found this fabric at Mushi Yua Fabric Market, which is legendary, legendary. I've spoken of this before, especially among expats. You cannot find it, but when you do, you never leave. And I just fell in love with this Tweety fabric and I had her copy, I don't know what designer this was. It might have been Armani because I was obsessed with Armani at the time, but I had her copy this and it's just one of my favorite things i've had for probably 15 years love the shape love the little pocket that has like a drawstring and uh it's just it's really it's so exquisite anyway so here i have just put this over the white shirt i've sort of buttoned it up to make it look preppy and i've draped this beautiful cardigan over my bag i know we do that with scarves sometimes and it's really nice to have that little textural sort of you know, little friend happening here on the bag. I just think it looks really chic. And I've got a little surprise underneath as well. Have a look at this. Ta -da! Have you seen these? Zara had these kind of harness belts happening for a while. And I found this one on Shane. It's not leather, but it's actually really lovely. And check this out, baby. I feel like I'm going to the OK Corral, you know, for some gunslinging. <laughs> I just thought I would try this and see what it looks like. So it just sits under the bust. It actually has Velcro at the front so you don't have to bother with all of these little buckles. And of course, I'm gonna try it over some dresses and some lovely white shirts as well to see how it comes up. But it's kind of cool. I feel very urban with this thing on. Ah! All right, now, I think that's enough for now. I have some bits and pieces to show you from my little Kmart trip. And, uh, and some lovely new deliveries from Country Road as well. So I'll be back soon. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Mwah.